The situation in Manipur, there is both violence that has returned to the state and also political uncertainty. Well, remember, the central uh, security forces have their tasks cut out with the top security officer, the CRPF DG, was also rushed uh, to Manipur yesterday, taking stock of the situation. Also, Home Minister Amit Shah, who chaired a crucial meeting over the security situation uh, in Manipur. Remember, political pressure also mounting on Chief Minister Biren Singh with a key NDA ally, the NPP, withdrawing support and at the same time the Congress saying that we are willing to resign, all the MLAs are willing to resign for a fresh mandate. Let me go across my colleague Saurabh Gupta joining us live. So Saurabh, um, you have reported extensively from the ground when the violence was at its peak in Manipur and you have seen the kind of complexity that this, that the violence and the security situation involves as far as Manipur is concerned but perhaps now centre uh, looking at some sort of a new peace plan as far as Manipur is concerned. Talk to us about the situation right Right now and what is the biggest challenge perhaps for the central government and the security forces there? Well, the Union Home Minister has held meetings yesterday, he's holding meetings today and that would give you a sense of the seriousness attached to the situation in Manipur. But it's a two-pronged issue. One is of course the security which is uh, largely controlled and managed by the Unified Command in which there are agencies uh, that are, uh, you know, CAPFs, there are military, uh, uh, you know, uh, wings. So all of that is managed by the unified command. When there is a situation of violence, how it is to be tackled, uh, what is the strategy going to be, that's uh, part of the domain of the unified command. Uh, but there is also a political system. There is an elected MLA, uh, there is an elected chief minister, and in that context, a lot of questions have been asked of the Chief Minister and the elected MLAs. Uh, the NPP, which is an ally of the Biren Singh government, uh, withdrew support. Today, of course, uh, the Chief Minister and Biren Singh has called for an urgent meeting in the evening. Uh, and that is also significant given the fact that there are parallel uh, meetings that are taking place in the nas uh, national capital as well, looking at the security situation. And this is going to be a balancing act. It will require a lot of tact. It's a delicate situation. Uh, there are contradicting aspirations and demands from the Kukizo community and the Meite community. And therefore, balancing this and finding a middle path is going to be a, a, a very difficult exercise, something uh, that the union government wants to do. Uh, it wants the return of peace to Manipur. But so far, uh, you know, with the year, uh, ending and then of course this year uh, since last year the 3rd of May this situation has remained more or less in Manipur there have been ebbs and then there have been highs uh, but this is going to be uh, a difficult situation to manage with the latest flare-up of violence in Manipur.